September 15th, 2019. Guess where we're at, the gas pumps. I don't think in the last month we've done one of these where we didn't start at the gas pump. Today is a very special day for me. Fair weekend in Port Hope. The lovely people from Port Hope, the town, has actually shut the parking down on one side of my road. So I'm going to be able to get the boat in and out today. Last night, Dave Bearstow from the Daiwa team, the senior member of the Daiwa team, invited me to come out and go smallmouth fishing on Rice Lake. And I'm very excited to do this. I mean, over the moon, excited. Dave is one of the nicest guys I've ever met in fishing. He is somebody I look up to a tremendous amount. We tried to get this done last year, didn't happen. He asked me this year, I was really trying to fit it in and then it was looking like it wasn't going to happen. But last night he messaged me and said, I have a free day tomorrow, would you like to go fishing? I spoke to Amber, she was like, you, you did do two days of the Port Hope Fair, Friday and Saturday. You go right ahead, I will take the kids to do a Sunday trip. So I'm on the road to Rice Lake, fish with my buddy Dave and I am over the moon excited about this. It's not very often in my bass career that I've fished with somebody who's bass fish longer than me or knows more about bass fishing than I do. But Mr. Dave Barristall is that guy. I am super excited about this. I need to fill up the boat and we're on the road. Really excited. Like this, this is gonna make my year fishing with Dave. <laughs> Lake. That truck is probably pretty loud. It is still pitch black out. I am super excited about the day. Dave is not here yet, but I'm going to get the battle wagon ready so that when Dave does make it, we get out on the water. It is early. I like it. Oh, the other thing on the way here, I just about smoked a doe and two fawns. There was a car coming the opposite way. They had stopped with their high beams on that let the deer cross. If you pull over to let deer cross in the middle of the night, hit those four-way flashers for guys coming the other way who can't can't see anything because you have your high beams on. Don't run into the deer. Just the tip of the day. Use them for wave flashers when letting deer cross. I'm gonna get the boat ready and then we're going fishing with Dave. Sun is finally coming up on big old Rice Lake. I went to the wrong boat launch. Dave called me at 10 after six and I was supposed to go to the launch by his house and I went to like the public launch. So bad on me. We are, it's about quarter 20 after, 25 after six. Oh. Mr. Dave forgot something in his truck. We are gonna go out here and hopefully catch some giant, giant smallmouth. I should dig the scale out so if we get a freak, cause I believe six pounds, I'm, I know I've caught a smallmouth over six pounds on Erie or Lake Ontario, but I've never weighed one. So six pounds like last year is the big fish breaking point that I'm looking for. It is quite possible to do it on Rice Lake. There's some super, super freaks out here, but I'm ultra excited to go fishing with my buddy Dave today. I don't think he realizes how excited I am to go fishing with him. Here he comes. Dave, I'm excited to go fishing with you, buddy. I'm pumped. We've been trying to do this for two years. Are you ready? Are you excited? Not talking this morning? He's quiet. He's like Sean McCall quiet. <laughs> Are you excited, buddy? Let's rock and roll, buddy. Let's catch some fish. I'll back you in. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Dave's a boat man, so we can trust him with the battle wagon. Let's catch some bass. It's actually not that dark out now. Plugs in, everything's ready. Oh, yeah, I know. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you To write a story, wanna shape the new
small mouth. Big old small mouth. On the med break. You ready, dude? That's a big old Small mouth. Ready, dude? That is a freak. That is just a freak, dude. Found a boy. Found one. Good work, dude. That's a huge smallmouth. sit up there, quite happy to watch deer at 200 yards away walk into a field. I was tickled pink to see those deer this spring and the black oh, bear. You had the deer and the bear. Yeah, it was like, this is amazing. Was like, you could ask for better. No, yeah, yeah. I've only seen them on the You don't have to be like a plus 1300 or anything, right? That's what I tell people all the time. I was like, I never shot anything. I just have more than a black. Good fish, that's a high three. Yep. Starting to fatten up, eh? See ya, buddy. Just got rained off the lake. We got four really good Rice Lake smallmouth. Absolute giants. Dave did get the biggest one. Certainly over five pounds. My man, 
Thank you so much for taking me fishing. Oh, no problem, bud. I learned an absolute ton today in that short period of time. The one thing that I noticed and is most shocking to me is how heavy of line you use. I'm like using eight pound, 10 pound braid with a six pound leader and you're using? 16 pound fluoro. Craziness. It absolutely blows my mind that I thought all this time you had to like super finesse fish them and you don't. And you set hook, how hard you set hook with those spinning rods. Why, you gotta. It's like you, it's like a flipping <laughs> stick out there. I know, I know. But yeah, I learned an absolute ton. Thank you so much for taking me. No problem, bud. I, I had a, an absolute great day. We're gonna see you more in the fall because the boys and I are gonna bow hunt on your property. Yep. So we'll be around, we'll ask you more questions. But dude, thank you so much for taking me. No problem. We'll see you soon. See ya. I'm heading home. He's heading home, he's not a rain guy. I'm, I'm, I'm holding him up, keep him out in the rain. Dude, thanks again. Just got in the truck, Dave's gone. That was awesome. I, I met Dave two years ago through the Daiwa program. Dave has been with Daiwa, he said for 15 years. Been fishing tournaments forever. And he's such a nice dude. He is, su he is such a great smallmouth fisherman. He has won more tournaments on Rice Lake catching smallmouth than I, uh, most people ever dreamed of winning. Dave, I, I, you guys aren't gonna be able to hear on camera what Dave and I talked about on the lake just because we don't have the microphones that were supposed to come in the mail, but that was the best five or six hours of fishing and learning that I've had in a long time. When I was younger, I didn't get to club fish, so I've always been kind of self-taught. I learned so much there. Two years in the making, we never seemed to have enough time, but thank you, Dave, for taking me fishing. That was so fun. Everybody, like, it doesn't matter who you are, right? Everybody has people they look up to and exciting times. So that was a huge, huge day for me. I learned a lot. I got I got to ask questions about old Daiwa stuff, uh, how the tournaments used to be in the 90s when I was like a teenager. I asked a billion questions. We got chased off the water because it's raining. I was going to hang trail camps today at Dave's house, but it's pouring rain, so we're, I'm not going to do that. We're going home, I hope. Am it's not raining in Port Hope, and maybe Amber and the kids got to go to the fair today. But if not, no matter how this shakes out, I'm a pretty happy guy right now. Made her home from Rice Lake. What an incredible morning! I am super stoked about how the morning went. It's right around 1 32 o'clock now. I was thinking about other things we could do with today with the vlog. Unfortunately, there is a huge downpour going on, so we're kind of housebound for the rest of the day. It was super nice. We were supposed to do the last day of the fair and some family time this morning, and Amber, Ashton, and Emma were like, No, no, go fishing with Dave. So so, huge shout out to my fam jam who is the most supportive fishing family out there. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day probably cleaning house with them. Big, big, big thanks to Dave Bearstow for taking me fishing. You're not gonna get to hear everything that we talked about in the boat because the GoPro mics suck. We're working on that. We're waiting for a part in the mail for over a month now, but that was an incredible five or six hours of fishing for me. I learned so much. Not only is Dave a part of the Team Daiwa, Dave is also on the Garmin Pro staff and he explained the Garmin unit to me how to use the traditional and clear view to mark structure versus fish versus fish versus structure. Made it a lot clearer. If you think that you know too much about fishing, you're absolutely insane. No matter how many years you've been on the water, whether you're eight, 18, 28, 38, 58, or 88 years old, there's something you can learn from somebody about fishing. If you ever have the chance like I did to go fishing with an absolute smallmouth hammer like Dave, ask lots of questions, listen really quick, clearly, and don't go and tell the whole world what they tell you. When people give you the juice, sometimes it's just better to hold it in here and not tell it all. Dave, hopefully I'm gonna convince him to do some Daiwa, Team Daiwa videos with some tips and clips, but what a great morning. I had so much fun. I can't tell you guys enough how excited I was to go. We caught some big ones. I learned a ton. And the best part is Dave was all on board to bring you guys. I, even when Dave messaged me last night and was like, do you want to go fishing tomorrow? I was like, I even told him that I'd be happy to just go fishing and not bring the cameras. And Dave was insistent that we brought the cameras for we could share it with you. Thank you, Dave. This week, Fear Vision Experiment. We got to keep getting ready for that big OBN event on September 26th. I hope you're coming to East Hill Outdoors to hang out with the Fear Vision team, raise some money for the OBN. And there's still a great deals on fishing fishing products at East Hill. Come, have fun, talk fishing. Maybe Dave will be there and you can ask him a whole bunch of questions. Hopefully he doesn't answer them all because I want the juice. I don't want to share this juice. I've had an absolute blast of a day and I still got half of it to continue. Rain day, going upstairs to hang out with the fam jam. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, and get out there and catch some big smallmouth yourself. Man, there's nothing cooler than giant, giant smallmouth. Will, see you soon.